In this video, we're going to address the question of whether or not you receive full pay if you have a workers' compensation injury. My name is Matt Easton. I've been practicing employment and workers' compensation rights here in the Sacramento area for over 25 years. And when clients come to our office suffering from an injury, one of the first things understandably they want to know is, will they receive full pay if they were injured on the job? Well, we're going to break that question down into a few different components, the short answer is no, but it may not be all that bad. The first issue has to do with full pay based during your period of temporary disability. The second question has to do with your period of full pay during permanent disability. During the temporary disability stage, when you've been injured and you cannot return to your full duties, or your employer does not have light duty or modified duties based on your limitations, then you may have the right to temporary disability payments. There can, however, be a gap in when temporary disability payments start, when they end, and how much they are. Traditionally speaking, temporary disability payments start when you've been off work for more than three full days, or you've been hospitalized, or if your combined time off work is more than 14 days, then it's retroactive to your first day off work. Consequently, if your injury lasts only a few days, you usually have to use sick leave, paid time off, or maybe not receive any pay whatsoever. Likewise, temporary disability ends after you've received 104 cumulative weeks of temporary disability. So in other words, after they piece together two full years of complete time off, on or off, or consecutive, then your temporary disability ends in California for most cases. In addition to potentially gaps of temporary disability begins, and when limits as to when it ends, there is also a dollar limit as to temporary disability. Temporary disability payments is historically calculated at two-thirds of your average weekly earnings. Consequently, if you've been working overtime on a regular basis, you need to be sure and take that into account. While you typically do receive two-thirds of your average weekly earnings, not the full pay, the good news is that workers' compensation benefits are generally not taxable, and as such, the gap isn't quite as dramatic. If you've been off of work because of a workers' compensation claim, and you have concerns whether or not you've been receiving the proper pay or the proper disability, I hope you'll consider reaching out to our firm. My name again is Matt Eason. I'm with the Law Offices of Eason and Tamarini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. Our phone number is 916-438-1819, and you can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com.